My name is Jimmy, it's nice to be here. Uh, give us a show if you live in London. Yeah. Most of you could. I live in London, I live with my sister. That's exciting. We just got a flat. We used, uh, we used uh, an estate agency called the Foxtons. Give us a cheer if you're familiar with that. Yeah. Most of you, they are the most virulent strain of estate agents currently operating in London. And I don't know if you've encountered them, but be very careful. They're, they're a massive problem. They're exclusively staffed by 18-year-old uh, South Africans over here on their gap years. <laughs> Sitting back in cheap neck suits, lying to first time buyers and slamming phones down like they were for Morgan Stanley and saying stupid things like, Yes, I've just closed the one bed in Kennington. Give me the keys, I'm driving the Mini. Oh. <laughs> Their offices are uh, interesting. Estate agents normally have an office, don't they? With little pictures on the wall like that. But someone high up in Foxton's has decided that we need to see these idiots at work, so they've made them out completely glass fronted glass edifices, you can just stand outside and just watch them at work, you know, estate agents are very much like goldfish, they've got seven second memories, you can just pick one out, just watch him walk to the end, forget what he's doing, catch his little keys, they look like, they look like jailers that have been to Tony and Guy, just walking around with their big things, I call these places cunt tropicariums. <laughs> simple rule uh, when domiciled with a sibling, right? And that is that the bedrooms must be as fucking far apart as the bricks and mortar will allow. That's quite simple. But trying to explain this to a South African is quite difficult because they have very warped priorities about life generally. Do we have any South Africans in? No, good. Let's, let's kick off. Um, <laughs> seriously, I'm sorry. I just don't trust. I have a deep-seated mistrust of anyone from the Southern Hemisphere. I mean, South Africans eat meat like we eat crisps. They're just wrong in their head. I don't know if you've been to a South African pub, but it's just all these hairy back bruising vests wandering around going, Hey, Blue, get me a couple of bites, you are, and a couple of bags of meat, you are. <laughs> One of them comes back with a bleeding lamb shank, it's like, Poof. Don't eat all of that, mate, I'm going for a puss. <laughs> this idiot, okay, takes us to just, oh, because what they do in London, right, you're probably all familiar with this, they see a little house, these estate agents, they see a little house designed for about three people, and they go, oh, I know what that needs. Seven flats. So they built these ridiculously tiny flats with sort of paper partition walls like that. And he kept taking us to these places. He kept going in, and I'm just, I'm just looking. Like the bedrooms are right next to each other. A little bit of wall. I'm going, okay, mate. Look, if I yawn in the morning with any kind of exuberance, I'm going to knock a glory hole through this wall for my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> this is not a wall, you dickhead. Fuck, that's actually three minutes. Um, I'll just quickly do it, right? And, and anyway, eventually, right? He just, he just goes to us. Right? He's just going, look, 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 right, right. I've got this perfect place for you. It's got wow factor. That's what it's got. It's got real wow factor. So he took us to this dump in Clapham Junction, opens the door, and he just goes, huh? Wow. I'm like, isn't this under a flight path? He's like, yeah, but what you've got to remember about planes, brews, they fly really, really high. So I don't think it's anything to worry. <laughs> Right, it's it was quite nice. There was a sort of spiral staircase, mezzanine level, quite sexy. He jumped up like this and he's standing there going, Yeah, look at this brew, huh? I'm like, Stop calling me brew, you fucking idiot. It's like, Yeah, look at this. You can imagine the parties, huh? You've got your decks here, right? Your bra here, get some meat on there, that'd be fucking fantastic. I'm sort of standing there going, uh, Mate, there's a problem here. Like, well, I don't really understand. Like, what room am I in? He's like, Oh, you're in the downstairs open plan party living space. <laughs> Alright, what room are you in? I'm in the second bedroom. It's like mezzanine, huh? Open plan. I'm like, great. So what happens when my sister's up there fucking her boyfriend and I'm down here trying to watch Grand Designs? There's no fucking door, you idiots. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you people manage to segregate a nation. You can't find two fucking bedrooms. 